Hey everybody, you guys will see something really weird about a flash drive I recently acquired. It's a SanDisk 8GB flash drive that I got from Staples. And there it is plugged into the Mid-Tower Deluxe. Is this your standard old crappy and cheap USB 2.0? Not all that fast. But there's something very unique about this one and another one that I've messed with while I was still working at Staples. Is according to the com to Windows, this is not a removable drive, rather a hard disk or local disk. No kidding. This SanDisk 8 gigabyte flash drive, for some reason or another, is being recognized by the computer as a local disk, and not just this computer, but any computer I plug this into. No kidding. So let me go ahead and show you within Windows. I'm copying files this right now, but if you see where it says, you see computer and then local disk L. Go back. See, there it is, local disk L. 4.62 gigabytes free of 7.43. Any, yeah, anyways. Yeah, USB mass storage device. Driver, there's, um, you know, it's a driver, it's actually a Microsoft driver. But, you know, typical of flash drives, you shouldn't have to install a driver to use those. They're pretty much plug and play. You just plug them in and and you can pretty much use them. Now, the funny thing about this, as I mentioned, you know, it's showing up as a local disk. So, it kind of makes a little bit of an issue when using this device. I'll show you right now as it's copying files. Let's see a new folder. See there's a new folder. I want to delete it. Notice how it says, are you sure you want to move this folder to the recycle bin? That's because Windows has created a um, a recycle bin file on this drive. Now typically with hard drives, this is normally the way things work, but when it's removable media, it does not, it should not create a recycle bin on said drive. I'm going to say no, I'm going to shift delete to permanently delete it like it normally would. As you can see, now it's asking me to permanently delete, delete this file, so yes. And there it goes. Now let's plug in a different flash drive. I'm going to leave this one plugged in and doing it soon, but let's plug in my Lexar 32 gig. Actually, better yet, I got this old 2 gigabyte Itachi from 2007 or 2008. Old 2 gigabyte Atachi, a uh, PNY Atachi flash drive. Let's plug it in. And you see it, it pops up as a removable disk, not a local disk. Open it. Let's get a new folder. There's a new folder. Let's delete it. Which, by the way, there is a new folder. Automatically, you notice how it pops up saying, are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder? Say yes. Now, the funny thing about this situation, <laughs> you know, seeing this thing acts like a hard disk and not a USB device, makes me wonder if I could install a Windows operating system on this guy and it would actually work. And the ideal OS to try on this would be Windows XP. I may have to try that in a later video. But not right now. But yeah, it's just really strange. It's, there's nothing special about this flash drive. It's just your typical 8 gigabyte cruiser flash drive. And this is the second one I've seen this happen with. When I was working at Staples, we needed a couple of extra flash drives to load stuff onto. Before I was getting ready to move on to my next job. And so they took two out to the cheaper 8 gigabyte flash drives out of inventory, plugged one in, showed up as a removable disk, plugged the other in, and it shows up as it, you know, as a local disk. <laughs> so it's like it's hit or miss, and and it seems like I've, I've only seen this happen with SanDisk products. I haven't seen this happen with any other brands. So that's the, that's the strange thing about it. So anyways, let's figure out to share this with you guys. I thought it was kind of strange. And as I add the bonus, look at here. I'm booting off this flash drive that thinks is a hard disk according to the computer booting off this drive to install Windows technical preview Windows 10 on this little netbook and if you notice here's another issue I have with 
you know, when, when your flash drive thinks it's a hard disk. Here in the option to select the drive you want to install to, it shows the flash drive as a hard disk. So anyways, yeah, that's just another, that's just another weird thing about this. Let's try to add this into the video. So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.